checked on Melanie with the day off. Moderna will try to answer those questions in the next trial of the vaccine. ABC 13 reporter Jeff Ealing following this very closely on what is next now. Jeff. I'll tell you what, Art, this is getting a lot of attention locally and nationally, of course. This is a phase one trial we're talking about. The phase two trial will involve about 600 people, but check this out. There's already a phase three trial planned, and that's going to have 30,000 participants. And we found out that there are four places in our area that will be included in that large scale study. And right now, at least for now, the results seem promising. There was a good antibody or immune response with so-called neutralizing or blocking antibodies. The vaccine under development by Moderna and government scientists produced antibodies similarly to those who have recovered from COVID-19. The next step is to expand the study to about 600 people, but on July 27th, 30,000 people nationwide will participate in phase three of the study. Baylor College of Medicine, UTMB Galveston, and DM Clinical Research are listed as among the 87 locations for the study. Individuals will be recruited uh, from the greater Houston area and uh will be given a placebo or vaccine and followed for uh, safety, for immune responses, and for efficacy of the vaccine, which is the acquisition of COVID. The vaccine did give more than half the people in phase one side effects that included fatigue, chills, muscle aches, headaches, and pains. But none of those side effects are considered to be serious. The 45 test subjects from phase one will be monitored for a full year to see if there are any long-term side effects. And as encouraging, as vaccine news is, there is still a long way to go to get a working vaccine to the general public. Maybe several months, maybe even a full year. So they're collecting a lot of data. They're following safety and efficacy. And remember, the manufacturing would have to start at the end of 2020 to make millions and millions of doses. And so how exciting is it that people here in Houston will be part of this? The vaccine at this point consists of two shots. Again, about a thousand local participants are needed. Now to get to that number, we're told that thousands and thousands and thousands of people need to apply to be part of this study. The details on how to sign up, well, they're still being worked out. But you can sign up for vaccine research going on right now in Houston at Houston Fights COVID. You may be included in the Moderna study if you go there and sign up, or it might possibly be a different one. We've got a link to that on our website, abc13.com. Art, it certainly is exciting news, but i got to tell you, you got to kind of sort of wait it out on these things because you just don't know what's going to happen with the ultimate vaccine. And, and is this it? We just don't know yet. Yeah, and you mentioned that some of those trial periods might last a year or longer, but if this is working properly with those 600, with the 30,000, that's going to be put on a fast track, right? In fact, it already is on a fast track, Art. This is being fast tracked. Again, Moderna and government scientists working as hard as they can and as fast as they can to develop this. But uh, everybody knows you have got to be 100% safe with something like this before you get it to the general public. And that step isn't going to be, you know, just passed right through. They're going to make sure it's safe before people yeah. like you and I get it, Art. Well, and it, with the promising results. It's all positive news at this point. It certainly is in Wall Street reacting positively as well. Yeah, it certainly is. Thank you, Jeff. We appreciate that report. Watching this so very closely.